it really doesn't get any better. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. Let's go for a spin. I drop it. Woo! No comment. And this is my happy place. I like big bells and I cannot lie. morning y'all it's Monday and it looks like we're gonna be in the hayfield raking and rolling whoops tomorrow but first I gotta put some tire some tire I need more coffee some air in my rear tire because it keeps going flat he's going to see if it needs tetting again I'm going to check it out now, this is the story of my life always always a flat tire around here and who just had their tires rotated last week and forgot to tell the guy that this one had been leaking and now it's, it's gone nuts and we found the problem yesterday but we hadn't had time to fix it so this is what we do oh, i forgot to bring the gauge with me oh well i just need enough air to get to the hay field <laughs> i want to go see what it's looking like he tetted all the millet yesterday. Yes, twice, or let's see. I think he's only tetted it once, but it was starting to dry up pretty good. So he's gone to check it now and probably ted some more, but we're going to see. I wanna go see what it looks like and show y'all what it looks like. I think it's actually gonna be better than we thought it was gonna be. So that's good. Weather this week good the next couple days when he cut it there was no rain in the forecast for seven days the day he cut it later that day the forecast changed <laughs> of course because that's what happens when you cut hay and we are supposed to get rain Wednesday so hopefully whoo, cattle guard hopefully it all works out and we can get it up tomorrow hopefully been really thick down here on the river bottom but it's drying it is and it's pretty thick except over there under the trees in the shady spots not bad not bad Whew. it's gonna be good to have some some good hay even though we're so far behind what we would normally be
Okay, y'all, the race is on. It's 11.49. I have been scrambling all morning. Somebody's gonna complain about that. I've been scrambling all morning to just get stuff done that needs to be done before heading to the hayfield, which is now imminent. T minus 40 minutes or so. And of course, my daughter wants pasta salad for lunch. So I'm trying to be a good mom and whip that up really fast. And then pack my bag. I do have a bag. I do have things that I have to have in the tractor with me. I'll show you. My first water. I should not need this much water. Yes, I will be in the air condition, but you never know. You never know what's gonna break down or burn up or what's gonna happen. So always be prepared. Always take water, like a gallon of water. Okay, what else am I taking? Actually today, I'm taking my big girl camera because I want to I wanna take some pictures of some hay bale babies. Um, I'm taking a tripod this time, which I didn't take last time because I was way rushed. Two tripods. Um, I am taking my Beats. Y'all, I have Beats. Can you believe that? The little ear, ear phone? No, what are they called? Headphones? I don't know what you call them. Anyway, I didn't buy them for myself. They were a gift from being on a podcast. A BASF Grow Smart podcast. Ding, ding. Here's the bell. Plug for them. Um, so, yeah, maybe I'm going to catch up on some podcasts listening today. Maybe. Maybe not. Hopefully. We'll see. Um, what else? Also, lest I forget, because I always do. I'm taking these little portable chargers, two of them, because the um, cigarette lighter thing on the tractor doesn't work very well, and I'd hate to be without a charged phone to be able to video. So, that's what we're doing. The essentials for raking hay. <laughs> also, nabs. For those of you who don't know what nabs are, I've talked about them before. They're crackers. Crackers, packs of crackers, we call them nabs. It goes back to Nabisco, short for Nabisco, evidently. Anyway, yeah, if I get a if I get a pain, a hunger pain, I'll survive with a gallon of water and two packs of nabs and steak. I had leftover sirloin from the other night. Can you believe that? Yeah, I made too much steak. So, protein lunch. It really doesn't get any better. <laughs> the only sandwich, quite possibly, that trumps the tomato sandwich. The steak sandwich. Can I get an amen? Here we go. He's waiting on me, per usual. I had to get steak out of my teeth. He had to come back too. We forgot the radios. It's, it's so silly. It's almost like, it's like traveling with kids. Do you remember all the things? We never do. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. Let's go for a spin. the furthest point that we have to go 
Uh, usually we start down the river and work our way up. This time we're starting up and working our way down. We're going to start in a small um, grass hay field. It's, it's mainly just Johnson grass, I think. And then, then we'll get to the millet. And we ought to be spitting out some bales today. Woohoo! deer y'all really it, it wasn't green it was brown I wish I had my camera on oh well I thought maybe there would be another and I just saw another one <laughs> he ran across the field what are these deer doing out in the middle of the day and it's hot too anyway shucks maybe I'll get one on camera before it's said done If you haven't been following me, I used to have a rake that was not hydraulic, meaning I had to get out there and pull it in and out by myself, but now I have the help of hydraulics. So, I drop it, woo! About run over my husband. He's not very happy about that.
this in one swipe?
do this thing. Okay, here we are in the really big field. I've made three laps. I made three laps and now I'm waiting on him because I can't go anymore because there's hay in front of me and I start I need to start going back and forth. So far, so good. Um my my air condition sounds funny. It was not cooling very well. And he had told me to turn the thermostat all the way counterclockwise, which I did, even though I do have trouble with direction sometimes. And it was it was not blowing cold. So he got in here and looked and it actually needed to go clockwise. He admitted he was wrong. So that's that's always a win. Anyway, we've got one, two, three, four, five, seven bales already in this field and we've only been around three times. I think we're going to have a lot. It's a good day. It's a good day to be alive. It's a good day to be raking hay in an air-conditioned cab. Especially because, remember in the last video, the um, flies that are as big as your head? Yeah. They would be eating us alive like they used to. So, I do have, I do have a little friend back here. Hurry up, buddy. Right there. I call that a mayfly. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a mayfly. Anyway, he's on the outside. It's all good. He just wanted to go for a ride. Houston, I think we have a problem. He appears to be not doing anything. So I'm assuming something's wrong with the dangler, which is par for the course. Oh, just kidding. He's rolling. All right, we'll be back at it shortly. Woo. He's just, get, it's so thick. He goes a little ways and he's got to stop. Spit another one out. I just asked him if he had a problem with the baler and he said the gate's not closing, which is a problem we have had before. So, at least, at least nothing's on fire, because that's also happened before. So, <laughs> I'm obviously going to get done much sooner than him. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm about eight or nine rows ahead of him, <laughs> which is not a bad thing. That just means the hay is thick. Hey y'all, the verdict is in. Evidently my super duper steering wheel cleaning job wasn't so super duper. <laughs> oh, I just realized. My hands are super duper black still. Oh well, I tried. a bale high. I'm about 5'9". So, these are big bales. I like big bales and I cannot lie. 
<laughs> Don't worry, I'm not breaking into a rat song. And in case you're curious, notice anything new? Ready you ready to go? would be good. Mm. Yeah, need a hydraulic like I have.
feels good to have that done. That's probably gonna be, that's gonna be it for us for a while for hay until something else grows. <laughs> and uh, like I say, all's well that ends well and everything ended well, no major problems. So we will take that. And now I'm gonna take myself home and we're gonna have leftovers. And I'm thankful I have those because I really don't feel like cooking. Oh, and I'm gonna go wash my hands. They, they could be worse. I think it helped. Maybe I'll try it again. Anyway. Thank you for watching, y'all. I hope you'll come back next time. Like, subscribe, farm on. Whoops.